Charlotte Mason opened my eyes to see that discipline when it's wrapped up in manipulation with either the prize on one end or the fear of a punishment on the other, that that's actually very detrimental because that's that's not the way God um, disciplines and then nurtures our growth, but rather it's in, informing, so we want to inform students and we want to support students in developing habits that are going to bless them. And it made me think about the commandments in the Bible because I think early in my Christian faith, I kind of saw the Christian faith as here's a bunch of things you do and here's a bunch of things you don't do. And if you think about it, that's a very independent faith. I mean, you really don't even need God in that. You just do these things and you don't do these things. And it was very legalistic. I don't think there was much joy in it, um, probably more frustration because I don't think we're doing half the things we wish we were doing. The commandments were given to us because God created us. And as our creator, he knit together my entire being. He knit together the universe. He knit together all my fellow creatures. And so when he gives me guidelines, it's because he knows my innermost being and knows what's going to give me meaning and purpose and fulfillment and joy. And so when I am able to obey, it's not rules, it's life in every sense of the word. So when we're training in habits, it's the same thing. We're training not just a bunch of rules, you do this and you, do that, and you don't do that, but rather we're training you in a way to live, in a way to live that's not only going to help you maybe be successful in a job or successful in a marriage, but it's gonna contribute to a happy, full, and what I would say is what Jesus refers to as the full life, the abundant life. And so it was just a revolutionary way to look at discipline.